In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use 3D animations in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. And here I am in Excel, and let's pretend like I have a spreadsheet with information about the human body, maybe some of the different organs of the body, and it really would be helpful to have an animation of, let's say, the human heart. So I'm going to go here to the Insert tab, and I'll go to the Illustrations group, and here we have 3D models. Now, if you don't see that, there, you may need to go to the pictures button or a similar button here and click in order to find 3D models. But for me, I'm just going to click on 3D models and it opens up a library of online 3D models that I can put into my spreadsheets. There are lots of different models I could choose from, but in this video I'm going to stick to just the animated models. So I'll click here on Animated for Education, and there we have a heart. So I'll select that and click Insert, and Excel is inserting this online 3D model that happens to be animated into my Excel spreadsheet. Now that it's in the spreadsheet, I can use one of the handles to click and drag to make the heart bigger. And because this is a 3D model, I can click and drag on this button here to show different angles, different parts, different views of this heart. So imagine how powerful this could be while you or your students or whoever the user of this spreadsheet is, is looking at data related to the human heart in this case. They can use this 3D animation that I've inserted to get a visual of what the data may be referring to. Let's look briefly at some of the other models that are there. So again, insert 3D models. I'm going to go back to animated for education and let's select a couple others. How about the planet Earth and the water cycle and this astronaut and maybe these two as well. So I'll click insert and this may take some time because I'm inserting like five different 3D models all at once into my spreadsheet. Excel has finished inserting those 3D models and I can now click away from them and one by one I'm going to click and drag to separate these models from each other so that you can see them better. Let's look at the water cycle. I've clicked and dragged to make it bigger. I can use this button here, or this handle really, to click and drag to get the angle that I want for this view of the water cycle. Let's try planet Earth. I can click and drag to make Earth bigger. Again, that handle in the center, I can click and drag to get the view of the exact part of the planet that I want to highlight. Let's try this one here. Click and drag to make it bigger. And this is meant to show an ocean current. I can click play to begin the animation. And so if you ever get an animation and it doesn't seem to be moving, look for that play button. You can click it to begin the animation. And let's look at the astronaut now. I'll make the astronaut bigger. And let's rotate the astronaut so that we can see different angles of the astronaut. Finally, we've got this dinosaur, T-Rex, and I can make him chase the astronaut if I want to. Now, when you're using 3D animations in Excel, Excel gives you some additional options and features, and you can access those by clicking on your 3D animated model, and then just look up here at the ribbon and the tabs that we have. There is a 3D model tab, and when you click on it, you get the these additional options. So I could pause the animation. Now there are other ways you could do that, but here on the ribbon you do have that option. You can also switch scenes. In this case, right now there's just one scene. Let's look at the dinosaur and see if there are other scenes. Yes, there are. Because I selected the dinosaur and went to scenes, now I can switch to scene two. And here in scene two, you can see the dinosaur is doing a little bit different things. I could switch to scene three to get even more options and um, actions for the dinosaur. We've got scene four, and we also have scene five. So definitely check out those different scenes that you can choose from. In addition to the pause and scenes, we also can reset the 3D model. If you click that, it'll take it back to the state it was in when you first imported it into your spreadsheet. Look at the other options we have here. There are some 3D model views that are preset. So I can click here to make the T-Rex look directly at me, basically. I can click here to make the dinosaur look to the right. I can have top view. 
rear view, side view, just lots of different options for viewing this 3D model. In addition to those view options, we also have some accessibility options. You can click here on alt text and you can change the alt text if you want to, to make it more accessible for people. But one other useful thing about the alt text is it tells you what it is you're looking at. So if I use this model, and I'm not exactly sure what this is, I can just select it and look at the alt text. It's flowing ocean current. Okay, back to the T-Rex. I can arrange how the T-Rex appears on the screen. I can send him backward, and if I want, I can send all the way to the back. So now the water cycle is in front of the T-Rex, and now I can send the water cycle back if I want to. Selecting the dinosaur again, I'm gonna click here on Selection Pane, and this will give me a list of all of my 3D models that are on this spreadsheet at this time. So now I can quickly click on the appropriate model to select it. I can even click to hide a specific model, and this can help to clean up the view so that you can see things a lot better. Okay, one other option that I want you to see here on the 3D model ribbon is we do have pan and zoom. So if you turn on pan and zoom, you can then click on this little magnifying glass with the plus sign and then drag down or up to make the model bigger or smaller. We do have some other options like specific height and width options and some others like grouping and aligning. For example, if I select two of these 3D objects, I could then group them together if I want to, or I could just align them to the middle so now they're lined up better than they were before. So in this video, we've looked at how to insert 3D animated models, and I have focused on animated for education, but just know that there are other animated animals that you could certainly add to your spreadsheet. So now we have a couple of animals and we have all animated models here in this area. I'm going to go back to the 3D model tab and ribbon and I'm going to open up the selection pane and I'm going to hide some of these and bring back just the human heart. So in my opinion, these 3D animated models can really add a nice touch to a spreadsheet, especially an educational spreadsheet. And imagine, again, students looking at data related to the human body, perhaps the heart, and then being able to click to see each of these different angles of the human heart, clicking here or here to get even more angles. What a powerful, exciting feature that we can access in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. Look for the join button below the video. You could also support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my awesome techie channel supporters, especially my super techie and ultra techie supporters. You know who you are, but in case you don't, here's a list of my current super techie and ultra techie supporters of the channel. Thank you so much.